Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to discuss a process known as eutrophication. Eutrophication is a ecological process which is taking place all over the world and destroying our aquatic ecosystems. So let's discuss how this happens. First of all, we are going to look at the literal meaning of the eutrophication. If you look at the word eutro, eutro mean well, fication mean nourished so it is a system in which a water body which could be a lake which could be a river which could be an ocean is well nourished too many nutrients are added in our water body and the whole ecosystem is destroyed how this happens uh, there are three main causes of uh, eutrophication number one agriculture we use many types of agriculture uh, use fertilizers nitrogen fertilizer, phosphate fertilizers uh, in our agriculture industry. Though agriculture industry is very vital for our survival, but at, after rain, water washes away these phosphate and nitrates from the fields and uh, these uh, uh, important nutrients reach ultimately into the water body. First, suppose this is a lake and it is receiving too many nitrates and phosphates from water which is coming from the agriculture fields the second source of these nutrients are urbanization as you know that there are too many cities are developing around water bodies like around rivers so these water bodies produce lot of sewer so this water which comes from sewer contains lot of phosphates and uh, nitrates uh, which can be uh, obtained from detergent or some other food particles so these are continuously adding into the water bodies so in this way residential and agriculture waste is continuously adding into our water bodies the third main source of uh, nutrients are industries industries are also very important for our uh, development but the waste material coming from arteries or uh, factories are deposited into the water bodies in the form of liquid effluents. These effluents contain a rich amount of nitrates, phosphates, carbon and so many elements which can increase the uh, food level, trophic level inside the water bodies. So there are three possible ways. Number one, waste disposal which is going into the water bodies. Number two, increased water temperature due to global warming. And number three, high nutrient load when these three factors are added it they cause eutrophication and what is eutrophication when a lake when a water body obtain or gets so many amount of nutrients like nitrates phosphates carbon etc these nutrients are taken up by algae cyanobacteria and aquatic plants and they grow in enormous amount so increased growth of algae cause algal bloom or aquatic plants bloom. In this way, the whole water body is filled by algae or aquatic plants. So as you can see right over here in the green diagram, this whole lake has been covered by green algae on the surface. Now this uh, layer of the algae will stop further penetration of the light into the ecosystem. So uh, when there is no light uh, reaching, into the lake ecosystem uh, the plants and algae start to die when they die the amount of bacteria increases aerobic bacteria which consumes their dead body which decompose their dead bodies and when they decompose algae and aquatic plants uh, with the help of decomposition there is a loss of oxygen when there is a loss of oxygen there is hypoxia in the water when there is a hypoxia in the water then the animals aquatic animals they start to die and their body is going to start to decompose with the help of bacteria and there is more deficiency of oxygen so in this way whole water body or whole ecosystem has been destroyed and this phenomenon is known as eutrophication uh, after uh, uh, this phenomena all the aquatic life including animals and plants has been died so i have divided this whole 
a eutrophication process in six steps so so that you can easily understand number one excessive nutrients coming from urbanization sewerage from agriculture waste from industrial waste adding up into the water number two receiving when there is a lot of nutrients in water algae and plants starts to grow at very rapid rate which is called as bloom number three when there is no light after the formation of so many algae on the surface of water when there is no light penetration algae and plants start to die when they die bacteria increase in uh, number and they start decomposition of algae and this process is done by aerobic bacteria when they decompose algae and plants they consume oxygen so as a result of decomposition there is a loss of oxygen from the water which is known as hypoxia low level of oxygen and when there is low level of oxygen in the water all the aquatic animals they also starts to die fish and aquatic life all dies and there is more decomposition and there is more loss of and total deficiency of oxygen and whole ecosystem destroys which produce uh, foul smelling water which is unfit for any kind of life so in this way whole ecosystem destroys so we must have to take some steps to stop eutrophication so that many ecosystems of the world can be prevented to be destroyed uh, thank you so much for watching this lecture hopefully it makes sense see you in the next lecture until then bye